Welcome to German History with a German accent. My name is Wolf W. Olaf, just like the animal. And in this video, I'm speaking about Hermann Hoth. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Hermann Hoth was born on April 12, 1885 in Neuruppin. In the year 1896, Hermann Hoth joined the Cadet Corps and started serving in the Prussian army in the year 1904. After he attended war school in Danzig, he was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. Since 1907, he served as battalion adjutant in his regiment before he got orders to attend the War Academy in Berlin in 1910. In April 1914, he was assigned to the Greater General Staff ranked as first lieutenant. When World War I broke out, he got stationed in the 8th Army's General Staff serving in East Persia. On September 20th, the same year, he earned the Iron Cross second class and was promoted to the rank of captain in November 1914. The following year, he served in the General Staff of the 10th Army and was awarded the Iron Cross first class. After being a battalion commander and being assigned to Air Force Staff service, he served in the General Staff of the 30th Infantry Division when the war ended. In the interwar period, he remained in the Reichswehr by the time the name of the German military and rose through the ranks. By October 1934, he held the rank of Lieutenant General and was ordered to set up the 18th Infantry Division. Two years later, he was promoted to Major General and was assigned to build the 15th Arm Army Corps Motorized, at that time the name for armored forces in the German military. In November 1938, he was promoted again to the rank of General of the Infantry. When the Second World War started, Hermann Hoth participated in the Poland campaign with his Motorized Army Corps under the command of the 10th Army. On October 27, 1939, for his achievements, he received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. Hermann Hoth also participated in the West Campaign with the 10th Army and was promoted to the rank of Colonel General for his achievements after the West Campaign was completed successfully. In November 1940, his Army Corps was renamed into Tank Group 3 of which he participated in Operation Barbarossa, the Soviet campaign. His units conquered the cities of Minsk and Vizbsk for what he was awarded the oak leaves to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. On October 5, 1941, he took over command of the 17th Army, with which he participated in the Battle of Kharkov in May 1942. On June 1st, the same year, he took over the 4th Tank Army. In November 1942, Hermann Hoth got the assignment to break through the encircled 6th Army, commanded by Friedrich Paulus, which was trapped in Stalingrad. Codename Wintergewitter, in English, Winter Storm. His units made it up to 30 miles to the pocket before Erich von Manstein had to give Hoth the order to abort his mission due to the threat of an even larger encirclement of German troops in the Southern Soviet Union. After the lines had stabilized, Hoth's 4th Tank Army was part of the failed Operation Citadel, which was the last large-scale offense operation on the Eastern Front, where German troops tried to encircle Soviet troops. From summer to fall the following year, Hoth's units held the strategically important Dnieper lines for which he received the swords to the oak leaves of his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. In fall 1943, the Red Army broke through the lines in Ukraine and reconquered the city of Kiev. For this reason, Hermann Hoth was dismissed by the German dictator himself, but was reactivated in April 1945, where he fought in southwest Germany with the 7th Army. During the Nuremberg war trials, Hermann Hoth was tried and found guilty of war crimes and crimes against humanity. 
In October 1948, he was sentenced to 15 years in prison before he was paroled in 1954. His sentence was later reduced to time served in 1957. On January 25, 1971, Hermann Holt died in Goslar.